hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this minimalistic slideshow animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so these kind of animations are very easy to create and they are kind of good looking and very trendy nowadays so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in adobe after effects let's create a new composition as always i'll call it as main animation with 1920 height 180 frame rate 30 duration we don't want much more duration so i'll choose 10 second long and background color is white color and simply hit ok and hit ok then press ctrl y on your keyboard to create a solid background i'll call it as bg go to the color options and we are going to choose this kind of color like this and hit ok and hit ok let's select this and lock this layer now select your text tool and now we will type whatever text we want over here and for the font i'm going to choose poppins and black version of this font so let's type whatever we want i'm gonna type enjoy okay now select this text let's de increase the distance between them and let's make them complete caps like this now select this music word and first of all select all of them go to the paragraph and i'm going to choose center text go to the character menu select this music word and i'm going to increase the size of it and let's decrease the distance like this okay now select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center press v and we will align it somewhere around over here okay now hit ctrl t again i'm going to select this text and instead of black i'm going to choose medium version of it select this and again increase the size of it and decrease increased distance now select this text press ctrl alt home and we are going to move this over here select this text hit ctrl d to duplicate it go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it like this and we will move this over here and we will bring this after this text now select this second text go to the character menu and with the help of this picker i am going to choose this color then go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect double click to apply with the help of this picker i am going to choose this color again go to the color options and choose the darker version of this color and hit ok and increase the softness like this so we will get something like this then hit u now let's select our ellipse tool and for the fill i am going to choose white color and hit ok and by holding shift i am going to create one ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that tanker point to the center press v and let's adjust this over here select this hit ctrl d again press ctrl alt home press s and scale it like this let's move this over here i'm going to choose white color only hit ctrl d let's move this over here increase the size of it like this and with the help of this fill and the speaker i'll choose this color hit ok select this text select this drop shadow effect hit ctrl c to copy select this and hit ctrl v to paste it now select this enjoy the music text and bring this at the top okay and select all the ellipse press ctrl alt home to align their anchor point to the center now this middle ellipse is going to be act like our mask and hit ctrl 0 to open the project window i have this one image over here link of this image is available in the description so you can use that also and then i'll bring my image over here press s for scaling option and scale it at appropriate size i'll select this ellipse and this is gonna be act like a mask so select this hit enter and let's call this shape as mask select this image and adjust it over here press s for scaling option and scale it like this bring this downwards select this image and choose alpha mask and let's move this over here select this text now uh, you can select this text and you can move this over here also but i will choose over here like this okay 
now uh, if you want you can go to the character menu and you can use italic version of this also but i'll stick with this one only and hit you select this press s let's scale like this and uh, instead of the, like this text you can choose another quote also like uh, i am going to choose different quote instead of enjoy this music text so i'll hit ctrl t to select this text tool and i'll hit ctrl a and i'll hit ctrl v you are free to choose any quote you want and i'll hit enter and i'll create something like this hit ctrl a go to the paragraph menu and i'm going to choose write align text like this let's delete the one space over here and then hit enter now select this text and let's bring this over here and let's increase the size of it like this okay then press ctrl alt o and if you want then you can instead of black you can choose only extra bold uh, like this okay and if you want then you can move this text over here also and you can decrease a little bit of size of it Let's go to the align tab and align it properly at the center hit ctrl t i'm going to select this text and i'm going to increase the size of it like this okay and also decrease the distance okay hit u now we will select this mask we will hit ctrl d to duplicate it we will un unhide it select this hit enter and let's call it as stroke and hit ok and select this and let's delete this fill we don't want that and for the stroke i'm going to choose white color and stroke width let's choose two and press p for position and let's move this over here so we'll get this extra look over here like this okay now let's select this text hit ctrl t let's select the topmost text like this and instead of extra bold let's choose semi bold and increase the size of it like this so we will get two versions of it and i think this looks good okay so now all things are ready now we need to animate this stuff so let's select this text first and let's go to the animate menu and choose position go to the position uh, range selector uh, and go to the advance and first of all let's make this words okay and hide it now bring down this position downwards go to the range selector create one keyframe at the start go to 1.15 and let's make this 100 go to the start go to the add menu go to the property and choose first of all tracking and let's decrease the tracking amount like this then go to the add menu property and then you can choose opacity and let's make this opacity zero like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 and let's move this over here hit u now we need to select this one and this ellipse let's go to the effect and presets panel and search for wiggle effect and double click to apply like this then go to the start press s for scaling option one keyframe over here and hit u so we can see the keyframes of this text also let's go over here and create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this zero same thing we will follow for the stroke also press s create one keyframe over here one keyframe over here go to the start and let's make this zero select this mask press s one keyframe here one keyframe here initially let's make this zero now we will select this bg press s create one keyframe and let's unlink this first go over here create another keyframe then go to the start and let's make this zero only on y-axis so we will get this kind of animation now select this all the keyframes and hit f9 okay now the only thing remaining is text so select this bg hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as mask text and hit ok and let's bring this over here select this text and choose alpha mask like this so our text is gonna look something like that now uh, what we are gonna do we will hit u so we can see all the keyframes now uh, first of all select this mask and let's link this again now select all the keyframes 
and hit F9 once again go to the graph editor select this graph hold shift one handle properly at the here and one handle properly at the here so I'll get this kind of animation okay let's select this text and I think we don't need to bring this tracking amount too much so let's make it minus 10 only because this looks quite weird like this okay th I think this looks good so we will get something like this now let's select this background bg text and press p for position let's initially move this over here create one keyframe go to around let's say six seconds and let's move this from here to here so we'll get some background animation throughout and then select this image press p initially move this a little bit over here create one keyframe go to the last keyframe i mean six second and let's move this over here so we will get one animation for this one also like this and now what i'm gonna do at this point i want all of this shapes should start to animate so i'll move them over here then this stroke so move this over here then this extra ellipse and then this music text like this and let's select all of them and let's move this over here okay select this press s and if you want then you can adjust the size of it and you can if you want you can adjust the position of this one over here also so you have two options either you should choose this over here and in middle of it like this uh, both looks good according to me and if you want then you can change the font also and you can change the code also for example uh, suppose instead of this font I am going to choose different font like Oswald which is this kind of font and let's increase the size of it like this I am going to hit ctrl T and select this lower text and let's increase the size like this so I'll get this kind of reason so you can choose this font also so I will hit ctrl alt home so I'm gonna stick with this font because this looks quite good with this uh, and then if you want then you can change the font of this one also which is at our text at the background but in this case i don't think it's necessary so i'll stick with this one and now if you want you can select this text press p for position create one keyframe go to the last keyframe and you can bring this a little bit over here also like this so we will get this extra text animation also so if i run this animation from the start along with this animation we will get a little bit of position animation for the sticks so initially let's move this a little bit over here okay press f4 select all of them and enable this motion blur so uh, it will add a little bit of realism in your animation like this you can select this stroke you can go to the effect and presets panel and apply wiggle effect on them also like this you can also apply this wiggle effect on this marks so we will get this kind of results and press ctrl y to create a solid background and choose white color and hit ok hit ok and bring this downwards so yep now this is gonna be my final animation for this simple slideshow and if you increase the size of this text that is also okay but adjust it properly so yep that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned